From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here in studio with Scott Wright, OSU beat writer. Scott, game week, everybody knows that. You're Let's off off to Oregon State for that Friday night game. Cowboys playing uh, in Corvallis to start the year. Lots of questions as we've chronicled in a variety of ways. Quarterback situation, defensive line, on and on. But maybe one of the more stable situations is running back. We know who the guy's going to be. It's Chuba Hubbard. And chances are he's a guy you're not only going to see start, but maybe get you know more carries than we've seen a running back get for a while for the Cowboys, it looks like. Yeah, it sounds that way. Mike Gundy said in his press conference that, that he feels like Chuba is a little bit bigger, has a little bit more meat on him than Justice Hill did and can maybe take a little bit more of, of the physicality that comes with being a running back and taking so many carries. Uh, so we'll see exactly how that goes. You know, it's a, it's a good opportunity. The way the schedule sets up is good to try to get Chuba Hubbard involved this week against Oregon State in a, in a game where you're trying to ease your quarterbacks into the situation. Uh, you've got an offensive line that you're pleased with. Uh, you're going up in, in a game where you, uh, where you should be able to physically handle yourself. Uh, you, can, uh, you can go ahead and give him 20 or 25 carries and, and, and let him do his thing. Uh, whereas then you've got a couple of weeks with McNeese State and Tulsa that maybe you can back off a little bit, get L.D. Brown more involved, maybe J uh, Jamil Jeter, do some different things there and, uh, and, and kind of rest him up for a couple of weeks before you hit Texas. So it's a, it's a good opportunity this week to, uh, to really unleash Shuba. It seems like, you know, you mentioned those names. It seems like they have a good number of guys that could conceivably get, while L.D. Brown might be more of a 12, 15 carry in a, you know, backup role situation potentially. You've got a number of guys that could see four, six carries. Wouldn't be a surprise. Is that part of the calculus, too, when it comes to Chuba Hubbard and how he could be used this year? Yeah, it absolutely is. Not only that, and, and the different things that they can do with two backs in the field. Um, you know, L.D. Brown, who, uh, who loves to talk anyway, says that, uh, <laughs> uh, that they feel like they've got the fastest running back group in the Big 12. He's definitely fast. We know Chuba Hubbard is fast. So you put those two guys in the backfield together, you can do a lot of different things. Uh, Jameel Jeter uh, might have the best hands of anybody in the group, even though he's a bigger guy at, at about 6'1 and 215. So he can do a lot of, uh, of things, give you some variety and some versatility out of that role. So there are a lot of different things they can do as they mix and match these guys. Use, uh, use two of them in the backfield at once or, uh, or go solo and, and uh, let a guy be a, uh, uh, maybe he's, he's running between the tackles, maybe he's getting outside, maybe he's lining up in the slot. So a lot of different things that these guys can do and that's going to help to, uh, to, to keep Chuba rested even though they are going to try to get him a lot of carries. One last thing about Chuba, you know, he's a guy that we saw the versatility he has last year, not just a hand it off to him guy, he can catch it a little bit too. Um, with these quarterbacks, who are you know good quarterbacks it seems but inexperienced in this system how might that play into this whole thing you know not only his um, running but his pass catching and potentially his blocking too to some degree yeah absolutely you know the uh, the ability to have a reliable running back back there is is important for these guys to take some pressure off of them uh, could also open up some running lanes for those guys if, uh, if if defenses are keying on him a little bit too much and and like you mentioned Jenny he can get out and, and catch a pass here and there and the pass blocking is something that he's taken really seriously since last year he learned as as he worked his way into the lineup more and more how much he needed to to, uh, to prepare himself for that because it was a different type of thing than he'd ever done before so he's worked really hard to get himself in position to be a better pass blocker and that's going to be an important role as he goes forward all right 9 30 kickoff on friday night oklahoma state up at oregon state in corvallis scott will be there so be sure to follow along and be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at oklahoman.com and every day in the oklahoman